Hey, what is going on guys and welcome to a redstone tutorial where I will show you how to send multiple redstone signals through a single wire, also known as serial data transfer. Now what we got here, we have five inputs, we have a single wire going all the way and we have five uh, outputs. And when we send, say we activate those two and we just activate it, we will see that those two gets enabled and this is a different thing I will show you later what it is and why it's there but uh, the uh, the serial data transfer is actually working and that's the main thing we'll be looking at right now let's go over let's go over here and I will show you how to build it now depending on the amount of inputs you want you uh, let's start with three you want to go um, you want to go first 15 blocks 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. If you want to add more, you just go this way. And you don't, you uh, you shouldn't add a repeat or anything to try to make more of them because the way this works is using analog signals. So doing that is actually just gonna break it. Or it's just gonna make uh, every single input past this one. It's just gonna be like this one. So it's not gonna work basically unless you want more inputs. Of this one to be further away or something like that I don't know when we have 15 out we're just gonna add a comparator it's gonna be powered and it has to be clicked on once and out to, to out to uh, out a block and now comes another tricky part depending on the amount of inputs we want we need to remove some wire on the uh, some length of the wire here so we have three and the max is 15, of course. Then we have to remove three, which means we, we are left with 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And now we make another one. Two, three, four, five, six, eleven. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One last thing before you are finished, you need to make sure you have an even amount of comparators. So right now I have four of them. The last one doesn't count, so just keep that in mind. These are four and that's an even amount, so it's good. And when you come out to the last one, the uh, a good thing to look at is this one is supposed to be the last one, the one that is turned off. So when you're done, just put a comparator here and then we can start building the output system. I want to start off with, um, depending on the amount of uh, inputs you have, you want to build three, because we have three inputs. You want repeaters here, you want wire on this. I'm gonna build up here, put first one up here. Three more repeaters on the second setting, two ticks. And out to three more blocks. It's gonna look like this. Now you want to put torches on these two spots. So basically it's gonna look something like this. And that's pretty much it. So let's try it out. Let's try the first one. And the first one gets turned on. The second one, the middle one, and the last one. So right now the system is actually working, but I will show you what exactly this thing is right now. Okay, so for the second part of this tutorial, now when we have the first part done, which is just a simple, uh, the simple serial system, we're gonna be talking about what exactly, or how exactly the, um, the when you want to send multiple signals, you want them, uh, for example, if you want to send a, a binary signal, course you want it to look like this when it comes out but the problem with this system is that you can only send one at a time which becomes uh, which gets becomes a problem when uh, when you try to 
go make the signal go to something because uh, especially if I have an encoder at the end, the encoder is just gonna is gonna recognize this one first and then this one, which means that this one, which can probably look like a, it's gonna get encoded as an eight and then uh, it goes through. And then this one comes by and it's gonna be encoded as a 2. So, if you get it or not, it's, it's just gonna become a problem, basically. So, what we need to do, we need to uh, send these with a little bit of delay, which we have here. And then we need to gather the signals and make sure they are grouped up, which is this thing over here. So, basically, what we're gonna do, we're gonna remove this first. And we're gonna put some delay on this. Uh, this one, I don't think we need delay. This one, we just need uh, a couple of ticks. Actually, what we're gonna do for the simplicity of the whole thing. Let's go like this. And now we can start with uh, the next part. We just need a couple of pistons here. blocks here, put some repeaters, and the and uh, now the way this is gonna work is that when we press this one the pistons will uh, pull down the blocks and the signals will go through Actually, what we need first is we need to make the signal shorter, actually. Look at this and just uh, build the same thing if you want to. Now, what this does is that it's gonna make the pistons go down really quickly, so it just gets a really short signal. And now, for the output, we're gonna have to uh, take these apart, which is really easy when you have three of them. And they are gonna go into, uh... of course, you can make the system really, really compact. I just make it a little bit bigger for the sake of uh, easy understanding. Now what we want to do right now is to make a couple of arsenal latches, which means that they take a signal, a really short signal, and they turn it into a continuous signal. So a single, this is a single arsenal latch, they are just one block wide, so... You want to first a block with a torch, and you want to go into a repeater, into another block. And above that one is another block with a torch. And out to another torch out here. Now, we will need some blocks up here, because we're gonna have to have a reset signal up on this thing. outputs over here and there you go let me just reset this thing and now let's send a signal let's send uh, these two and both of them get sent through and they are both here now um, of course they they um, the problem is still here, that this one gets here first, and then and then this one. So the thing I did there was I added another row of pistons that's gonna enable and just send, send through the signals at once. So let's do that right now. Now to make this an automated system, what we can do is uh, we hook these two up together, the reset and the 
the arsenal latch reset. Just put a little bit of delay here. And of course, we can uh, make, should make this one go out here. We need a little bit on um, delay here as well. And now what's gonna happen, when a, a signal first reaches this point, it's gonna send a signal going over here. And after a while, this is gonna reset. And after another while, actually it's probably gonna have to be roughly the same time, if not just a little, little bit of delay. Um, No, this one has to go first, yeah. So we can put a little bit of delay there. And now this one is gonna, res this is gonna send a signal through. And all of these are gonna happen at the same time. We're just gonna eliminate the problem with uh, the delay cost here in the first place. And then after another short while, this is gonna reset. So let's try if this works. Let me just reset this before we start. And I'm going to make a little delay here so we can fly over there and see what's going to happen. The exact same thing which I did over there. Okay, let's go. And that is exactly what, what is going to happen. Let me just swap out these. Some bugs going on, and I don't know what's going on, but should, in theory, just work right now. I have the same thing going on here, but anyway, for some reason, the pistons are bugging out. But I think it has to do something with uh, the direction of the pistons. So, uh, hang on. This is facing. This is facing west. This is facing east. And this one is working just fine. So it has something to do. Is the pistons bugging out? I, I don't know. It's probably getting fixed in 1.9 anyway. But overall, this thing is just right now working. And um, it is ready to be put inside of my keyboard later on. Actually, this thing is going to be put inside the keyboard because I need 5 bits to work with. With uh, 3 bits, you can actually build. Or you can. With 3 bits, you can send. Uh, 1, 2, 4. You can send 7 different combinations of stuff. If you use binary system. 1, 2, 4, etc., etc. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave this video a thumbs up. And if you want to see more Redstone related videos like this, be sure to subscribe.